answer to that question. Many people have been asking, where is Ramaringam Raju, former CEO of uh, Satyam Computer Services? The breaking news coming in right now that Ramalinga Raju has surrendered before the Andhra Pradesh DGP. In fact, he is at the Andhra Pradesh DGP's office even as we speak. Remember, there has been much speculation over whether Ramalinga Raju was indeed in the country or if he had in fact fled the country after giving that disclosure letter to the SEBI and to the board of directors in which he admitted to running a near, a near to 7,000 crore rupee fraud having cooked the books for as long as seven years, overstating assets, understating the liabilities. But the news coming in now that Ramalinga Raju, as his lawyer, had said, speaking to CNN and IBN on Thursday, that he is very much in Hyderabad and is going to cooperate with the, in, with the investigations. In that letter that Ramalinga Raju had written, his disclosure letter as well, he had spoken about how he's uh, going to be cooperating with the authorities and that law will now take its own course. The confirmation now coming in from Andhra Pradesh that Mr. Raju, in fact, has surrendered before the police. Remember, the Andhra police over the last couple of days have been saying that they haven't filed a case against Mr. Raju. The question over what charges will he be booked under, whether there will be a criminal case is something that has been debated for some time now. But the information now coming in from Hyderabad confirming to us that Mr. Ramalinga Raju has, in fact, surrendered before the Andhra Pradesh DGP. We're trying to get you more details on whether that case was eventually filed. Remember, here in Delhi, the Corporate Affairs Ministry that was looking uh, into that disclosure letter and the charges that will now be slapped on Mr. Ramalinga Raju and possibly on the CFO and other board members of Satyam as well were saying that it was the job of the Andhra Pradesh police really to look at whether criminal charges need to be filed against Mr. Raju. Uh, experts also suggesting that he could be facing as much as a, as much as a seven your uh, as harsh a term as a seven-year term in jail. So that confirmation coming in uh, from Andhra Pradesh that Mr. Ramalinga Raju finally surrendering before the Andhra DGP, much as, as, it, as his lawyer had earlier indicated to CNN, IBN. Well, uh, it has been the big headline really since that big corporate scam, the biggest one possibly in India broke, many calling it India's Enron as well. Uh, just a couple of uh, hours back, another development uh, uh, on that story as well with the government uh, superseding the Satyam board. Let's take you through that development that took place earlier this evening. The government has now taken control of Satyam, as we said. It has appointed its own nominees to the board. Satyam, that was scheduled to hold a board meeting on the 10th of January. That's tomorrow was called off as well. Done that. The big question was what charges Mr. Ramalinga Raju will be facing, those criminal charges, what are the counts he'll be charged under, will he be facing a jail term. As we said, the speculation has been that he, would, he could in fact be facing a term as, as long and as rigorous as seven years behind bars.